As you watch our local on the 8th, we want to talk about some of the changes to the way the National Weather Service communicates a risk of severe weather. Now, the changes would take place next year, so we want to bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, to talk about what the SPC is doing and, and why, Dr. Forbes, why are they making these changes? Yeah, the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center is the group that they put out what they call outlooks, and then after that, if need be, they put out the watches that we broadcast here on the Weather Channel. Uh, they have uh, some forecasts for, for today and the, and the next two days that they use various terminologies. Uh, for example, uh, thunder, uh, no severe likely, but then increasing amounts of, of severe threat. They currently use CTEX, then slight, then moderate, then high type risks. And that's to sort of uh, heighten the awareness to how bad the, the days may be with these moderate and high uh, kind of outlooks a little bit rarer. Now, they're proposing to change the, the wording of that C text to marginal. I think that's a good wording change. I've always thought that slight is a little bit, maybe sounds a little bit too low because most of the days fall in this category. These days we'll have uh, red on our severe thunderstorm map. They're adding a new category, enhanced and then moderate and high. So the idea is that this will give a little bit higher resolution in terms of the increasing levels of threat. They're proposing this. They're going to let some social scientists look at it and, and evaluate it sort of a little bit like I was doing there. Right. It's not going to happen overnight, no. but something we're keeping an eye on. And how does that compare to the way we alert our viewers here at the Weather Channel? Well, we, of course, are looking at their forecast, but we also make our own. And in on, on our maps, we use this yellow, orange, uh, uh, goldish color for thunder and then what they would have as slight and moderate, usually we would have in our red, the greatest chance of severe, and on a few days that often correspond to the Storm Prediction Center's high, we use this white uh, color uh, that would be our greatest threat days uh, on a number of the worst days per year. Then, of course, also we go to a, almost a probability system on a zero to 10 basis, what we call TORCON, where we're predicting specifically the chance of tornadoes within 50 miles, a nine meaning about a 90% chance. So Storm Prediction Center has various levels of tornado threat also that are built within their various uh, forecast categories. And I know you help in making it very easy for the uh, viewers to understand where that threat is. All right. Thank you, Dr. Forbes. Here's Chris. Uh, thank you, Chris. So windy weather slowed down the Dawn Patrol of the 2012 Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The event kicked off on Saturday and continues through October 14th. The